This demonstration will look at configuring general NPS settings. In earlier demo, what we did is we installed the NPS server role or the network policy server role. The next thing we're going to do here is just configure a radius server for VPN connections. Radius stands for Remote Authentication dial in User Service, and it's always good to protect our internal directory service behind our radius server. So what we're going to do here is we've come into our network policy server MMC. What we're now going to do is we're now just going to configure some of these settings. So what we're going to do here is just understand config. If we click on our little drop down here, one of the things we can do here is we can specify that we're a network access protection server, radius server for dial-in or VPN connections, or we're a radius server for our 802.1x wireless or wired connections. We're going to go for a radius server for dial-up or VPN connections. And then below here, we're just going to configure VPN or dial-up. That brings us into a little wizard. We're going to configure this for VPN connections. We're happy with the default name, so we'll select Next. Now our radius clients, we'll select Add. And what we want to do here is we want to fill out the table to specify our radius client. For our friendly name, we're going to go for LON-RTR. We'll just select Verify at this point. And what we want to do here is we just want to type in LON-RTR again, and then we'll just resolve and it's come back with the IP address of this machine, so we'll select OK. Then what we want to do here is we just want to set up our shared secret. So just down here, we put in our shared secret. Now we've entered and re-entered our shared secret, we'll select OK. We'll just select Next, because we're not going to add any additional radius clients. As we've got a purely Microsoft network, we're going to go for the Microsoft Encrypted Authentication version 2 and select Next. On the Specify Users or Groups at this point here, we're just going to select the Next button. On the IP filters, again, we're going to go with the defaults and select Next. We're not going to modify any of the encryption settings, so we'll select Next. And then on Specify a Realm Name, not going to bother with any of this. We're going to specify Next again. And then on completing the new dial-up, or VPN, we'll select Finish. Now we've done all of that, next thing we want to do here is just save off our config. So in order to do that, we'll just come into Windows PowerShell, and within Windows PowerShell, we'll just save off that config. And to do that, we're going to do an export hyphen MPS configuration, space hyphen path, space lon hyphen DC1.xml. We'll just open up the pad to see what's inside that pad. I'm just going to open up that config file with notepad space lon dc1.xml. So we'll hit enter at this point here. And as we can see, it opens up an XML file that contains all of the configuration of our current NPS server config. So as we can see, lots and lots and lots of information that just goes through the config that we've just put in place. That's the end of this demonstration of doing very basic config of our MPS server. Thank you.